Alrighty, welcome back everyone. As the title suggests, we got a little bit of spicy news today. I uh, don't usually do these videos unless it pertains to my channel. Well, this pertains to my channel. So, as the title suggests, uh, Hasbro, Papa, Papa Hasbro, owns everything, um, may or may not be selling the Dungeons & Dragons IP. Uh, this article broke yesterday. Uh, as of filming this video today is February 1st of 2024. Uh, Tencent might be the potential buyer. Let's go ahead and jump into this real quick here. There's a potentially big business deal happening in both the world of tabletop gaming and video gaming. Insider sources reporting to Chinese news site Speed Daily have confirmed that Hasbro is looking to sell off the massive Dungeons & Dragons IP. And one of the possible buyers is Chinese mega corporation Tencent. And everybody should be familiar with Tencent. Negotiations for any deal are still in the very early stages. Neither side has agreed to any transaction terms, but sources familiar with the matter say that Tencent is the primary buyer of interest. And a person from Tencent's interactive entertainment business group says that the purchase is primarily with the intentions of acquiring a series of rights, including D&D's video game adaptation rights. So, essentially, Tencent doesn't care about Dungeons & Dragons as a whole, uh, especially tabletop Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, they care about the video game aspect. So, Tencent may or may not want to eventually make a new Dungeons & Dragons video game. Incidentally, Lorian Studi Studios is reportedly working as the intermediary between Hasbro and Tencent, which may come as a surprise if not for the fact that Tencent owns 30% of Baldur's Gate 3 developer. So, yeah, if you guys didn't know, Lorian Studios, uh, Tencent owns 30% of Lorian Studios. Lorian Studios was first seen as a potential buyer by Hasbro, but Lorian was unable to afford the transaction, so it passed the deal over to Tencent. Yeah, I can imagine Has Hasbro's going to make a pretty penny off selling the Dungeons & Dragons IP. Uh, you're talking about uh, billions of dollars with a B. Uh, billions of dollars. Um, that's a huge, huge intellectual property, Dungeons & Dragons. So it's going to fetch a high, uh, hefty price tag. But Tencent has billions upon billions of dollars. I think the Tencent CEO uh, is worth, his net worth is $30 billion by himself. As for why Hasbro is selling its biggest cash cow, the company has experienced over $500 million worth of losses from quarter four of 2022 to quarter three of 2023. Or I'm sorry, quarter four of 2022 to quarter three of 2023 and was even in a negative free cash flow situation in the second quarter of last year. Losses are being attributed to Hasbro's lagging toy sales and come even as the D&D IP has been a revenue generator. So Hasbro is pretty much known for toys, right? Hasbro makes a lot of toys, action figures, etc., Monopoly, uh, board games, but they do have a couple IPs. They have Magic the Gathering, you know, they have Dungeons and Dragons, uh, video games, etc. What this means for D&D's games across the board is naturally unclear. But we'll obviously be watching carefully. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated and see what happens over the next couple quarters. Um, so what does this overall mean? I mean... If we look at Hasbro as a company, I mean, they've been struggle bussing lately, right? Uh, I think I took this screenshot the other day. The market was open. Uh, but the height of Hasbro, uh, from like 2019, stock share was over $150 a share. Then you see the first blue arrow. Uh, you can, you know, blame that on whatever you want to blame that. Poor sales, poor performance, uh, the pandemic. Uh, political views, new presidential election in 2020. Whatever you want to blame, you can blame. You can see the huge downtick. Uh, and price went to about $70 a share. And then we had a small uptick. And then a huge drop. I mean, you could just see the huge blue arrow downward spiral that Hasbro was 
uh, from 2022 to 2023, which they mentioned in the article was like over a $500 million loss. Then we had a small uptick again, and then we have the current market value, which down ticked again. So stock prices at Hasbro right now, uh, when I was taking this picture, uh, I believe yesterday, you know, you're looking at like $49 a share, $50 uh, a share right now. So that's like $100 down from, you know, three years ago, almost four years ago. How are they going to boost the market back? How are they going to get their sales back? What are they going to do? Well, they're in crisis mode, so they're going to start selling off. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons is going to fetch a pretty penny. You're, you're definitely talking about billions of dollars. Tencent is probably going to pay billions of dollars for the IP. And, you know, the rich are just going to get richer, guys. The, the rich are just going to get richer. The CEO of Tencent is going to cash in on that and develop more video games, etc. Uh, it is what it is. So, again, what does that mean for Dungeons & Dragons? We don't know. We, we don't know. Uh, what does that mean for Neverwinter? You know, my channel was built on Neverwinter. It's a Dungeons & Dragons game. Uh, Neverwinter's, you know, well into the 10-year mark of a game now. So what is that actually going to mean? Um, I mean, viewership has been down forever. You know, if we go across the board here, we're on Twitch. Uh, Neverwinter, it's not peak time right now, but it's close to peak time. Uh, you know, if Neverwinter, a 10-year 10 10 year old game, it's got 51 viewers on Twitch right now. You know, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Dungeons & Dragons Online is an even older game than Neverwinter. 118 viewers. Alright? Baldur's Gate, uh, which is, you know, new, newer, almost 10,000 viewers. So, that's not horrible, right? 10,000 viewers is not horrible, but if Tencent, you know, either takes over full development of Baldur's Gate 3 and they bring out expansions or do whatever it is they're going to do, or they're going to make a brand new Dungeons & Dragons game uh, that'll be in development and we won't see it until like 2030 at this point. But we don't know what the future is going to, you know, bring. And then finally, we just have, you know, Dungeons & Dragons, like tabletop. These are just people on Twitch literally playing tabletop. That's the whole essence. That's the foundation of Dungeons and Dragons back in the 1980s, you know, even the 1970s. Dungeons and Dragons was, you know, a getaway from reality. You got with a group of friends and you made a little fantasy, sort of like a board game, you know. Uh, and that's coming in at, you know, 1.3K. Like, there's still a following out there. There's still people out there that will always love Dungeons and Dragons. You had that latest movie adaptation that came out, I want to say a year ago. Uh, the Thieves one, the Thieves Guild, or whatever it was called. Uh, I personally liked that movie. A lot of people did not like it. Uh, I liked it, you know. So the Dungeons and Dragons IP is always going to be around. It's going to be around long after we're all dead, okay. It's going to continue. It's like Star Wars or Star Trek. Those IPs, those franchises, they're going to be going on forever. You and I will be long dead and they will still be going on and thriving. So what, again, does that mean for Dungeons & Dragons if Tencent takes over? Who knows, all right? Uh, new stuff will be coming, most likely. Uh, new video games, new movies. Whatever Tencent can do to squeeze out more money from the IP because they're going to have to get their investment back if they pay $10 billion for the IP, they obviously have to regain that revenue back. So, it is what it is. I'll keep you guys posted. Just a short little video today just to keep everyone aware of what's going on in the Dungeons & Dragons universe. Again, I'm only covering this because, you know, my channel was built on Neverwinter. So, it is what it is, guys. If you've got any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them below. That's all I got for you today. I'll see you guys real soon.